Okay, the first section of short one for orange belt is our salutation and stop hits. There again, all katas will begin and end with our salutation, whether traditional or formal. From our salutation, we're going to step back and do stop hit A, or stop hit D, I'm sorry, power side. And then we're going to step back and do stop hit D, weak side. So section one of short one is your salutation. Stop hit, followed by stop hit. Let's do it from a different angle, just so you can see how this is going to work. Salutation. We step back and do stop hit D, because our opponent's coming at 12 o'clock with a right punch. Then they're coming at us with a left punch. Okay, again. Salutation. Stop hit D. Stop hit D. Okay, from our last angle, salutation, stop it. Watch your heel toe relationship and watch your blocks. Make sure your blocks are going where they're supposed to be as well as your strikes. This is a very simple plus pattern. It's not a practical choreographed fight, but it teaches you on a basic level to start moving from one technique to the next and changing angles. Okay, last time for section one of short one. Salutation. Step straight back for stop, hit D. Step straight back for stop, hit D. Okay, if you need to review the techniques for this particular kata, go back to yellow belt and refer to that video because they're all in there. Practice that and we'll come back and learn section two. Okay, welcome back to section two. At this point, you should have a basic working knowledge of section one and be able to perform it without too much problems. So for section two, let's review what we've done. We've done our salutation, our attacks coming from 12, so we've done stop hit, then a left punch, so we do stop hit again. Now our attacker is coming from the nine o'clock position, so as we adjust, we're gonna cover, because we don't wanna just step and blindly step into a punch. So we're going to use a crossbody parry, followed by an extended outward block with a reverse punch. We call this a Japanese sword. It's not in the system, but that's the name of the technique. Now once we've done Japanese sword power side, we're going to step back left to 3 o'clock as we do a crossbody parry, right extended outward block, left reverse punch into hard bow, and back to stance. So section two is made up of Japanese sword. So you now have stop hit to 12 and Japanese sword to 9. So let's do it again. We have our salutation. Stop hit power side for a right punch. Stop hit weak side for a left punch, all coming from the 12 o'clock position. Our newer attacker is at the 9 o'clock position. So we're going to do a cross body parry as we set up our extended outward block. Reverse punch power side for Japanese sword. Then our left foot's going to step back to three as we do a cross body parry, extended outward block, left to reverse punch into hard bow, back to fighting stance. And that would end section two. So from a different angle, section one, salutation, stop hit, stop hit. Section two is Japanese sword, cross body parry, extended outward block, Right reverse punch to hard bow. Step back left, left cross body parry, right extended outward block, left reverse punch to hard bow, and back to stance. Okay, one last time from a different angle. Salutation. Stop it, power side. Stop hit, weak side. Japanese sword, power side, which is an extended outward block, reverse punch. Japanese sword weak side, same thing. Extended outward block, reverse punch to hard bow, and back to stance. And that would conclude section two. Practice those two sections till you have the basic idea down, and then come back and learn section three. Okay, now that you have the first two sections down, let's go on to section three, which is your Kempo Shield A power side and Kempo Shield B weak side. So let's review up until that point. 
salutation. Stop hit to 12. Stop hit weak side to 12. Japanese sword to 9 o'clock. Japanese sword weak side to 9 o'clock. This ends section 2 and begins section 3. Now section 3, our opponent is coming from the 3 o'clock position. So we're going to take our right foot, move it about 6 inches forward to reverse our heel-toe relationship to correspond with our opponent at 3 o'clock as if we do a cross-body parry. In other words, we don't want to always step blown. We always want to have a check or something in there clearing that area to make sure we don't get hit as we adjust. Then we're going to go into our upwards block reverse punch for Kempo Shield A. Then our left foot's going to step back with a cross body parry as we go into Kempo Shield B with an inverted punch. And that would end section three. So let's do it all again. Salutation. Stop hits, power side, weak side. Japanese sword to nine o'clock. Power side, weak side. Kempo shield, right foot adjusts six inches as we do a cross body parry, left outward block. This is what we call a two touch block, because we're going to touch the hand or the punch twice. Then we're going to step back after we've done Kempo shield A, and we're going to do Kempo shield B. Okay, one more time. Salutation. Stop hit. Stop hit. Japanese sword. Japanese sword weak side, Kempo shield A power side, Kempo shield B weak side. Okay, let's do it from this angle here. Salutation. Stop it. Stop it. Japanese sword. Japanese sword. Kempo shield A. Kempo shield B. Okay? Last time from this angle. Salutation. Stop it. Watch your heel toe relationship. Watch where your hands are going. Okay, a kata is about form. Japanese sword. Kempo shield A. Kempo shield B. And that's where section three ends. Practice those three sections and come back and learn the fourth and final section. Okay, now that you have the first three sections down, let's finish off at short one for orange belt. So let's get to where we left off. We have our salutation, stop hit, stop hit, Japanese sword. Weak side, Kempo shield A, Kempo shield B, weak side. Okay, and that ends section three. Section four, the fourth and final section, is going to come from the six o'clock position with a right punch first. We're going to take our left foot, step to the 12 o'clock position as we go into delayed sword. And then we're going to step back and do delayed sword weak side and turn around and close or salutation. Okay, again, salutation. Stop it. Stop it. Japanese sword. Japanese sword, weak side. Kempo shield, A, power side. Kempo shield, B, weak side. Step left to six. Delayed sword, power side. Step back to six. Delayed sword, weak side, and close. Okay, from this angle. Salutation. Japanese sword. My fault. Let me try this one more time. Even I make mistakes. Salutation. Stop hit A. Stop hit B. Japanese sword A. Weak side. Kempo shield A. Kempo shield B, weak side, step left, delayed sword and chop. Make sure you step back right completely to delayed sword B, weak side, and turn and close from our last angle. Salutation. Stop.
Stop it. Stop it. Japanese sword. Kimpo shield. Kimpo shield B weak side. Delayed sword. Watch your form, especially on the weak side. Turn, close, and you're done. Practice that and get ready for your orange belt test.